In the early 1450s, a Hungarian engineer named Orban approached Emperor Constantine XI of the Byzantine Empire with a radical proposal. A super cannon capable of breaching even the strongest medieval fortifications. Orban had designed a massive bronze bombard, far larger than anything previously built, and offered it to the Byzantines to help defend Constantinople. But the emperor, short on funds and skeptical of the design, declined the offer. Orban then turned to Sultan Mehmed II of the Ottoman Empire, who immediately saw its potential and financed its construction. The cannon Orban built was a technological marvel for its time. Cast in bronze and weighing several tons, it could fire stone projectiles over 600 pounds in weight. Transporting and operating it required dozens of oxen and hundreds of men, but its psychological and physical impact was immense. During the 1453 siege of Constantinople, Orban's cannon was positioned outside the city's ancient Theodosian walls and fired repeatedly over several weeks. The relentless bombardment eventually created breaches that Ottoman forces exploited, leading to the city's fall. The fall of Constantinople marked the end of the Byzantine Empire and is often considered the final chapter of the Roman Empire's thousand-year legacy. Orban's cannon didn't just break walls. It symbolized the shift from medieval warfare to early modern siege tactics. It also showed how technological innovation could tip the balance of power. Ironically, the very weapon that could have saved Constantinople ended up destroying it, reshaping the course of European and Middle Eastern history. Canon Hashtag the historian's den.